hi, this is Rochelle, the DIY affiliate, and welcome. For those of you who do not know me, I search the internet and I find different programs and services that you can use for free to grow your business online. I then present them in the form of tutorials. Today we are talking about YouTube Studio Beta Editor. So let's get started. Go to your YouTube channel, your avatar, click into your avatar and make sure that you are on my channel. You will see the customize, you will see the customize and the um, creator studio. Click into Creator Studio and you will then be in here. Try Studio Beta. Click Try Studio Beta. You will then be in Studio Beta. Go to Videos. Choose the video that you would like to edit. Click into that video. On the left hand corner you will see details, analytics, editor. Click into editor. Trim. If you want to trim the front of your video or the back, the, the end of your video, click Trim. Now you can use this. Now this right here with the little uh, sort of knob on the end of it is actually what you call your splitter and I will talk about that in a minute. For now you see this a blue lined uh, box or rectangle coming up. You can then click on this and you'll see the double headed arrow and decide where do you want to trim your video at. So, this is my first trim. 
and if you want to trim from the end you can also use that so now I have the front trim and the end trim now say I want to split something in the video you would move your straight line with the little knob on it to the place where you want to split it and click split then where you want to split it you would then move it over to the area that you would like to split it now you have to make sure that this turns blue you want this to turn blue then you know that you are in the right place you know that this area is going to be cut out now you will also notice this here this does not mean that you automatically can cut the section out you cannot do that it means that if you click this X it means you undo your split so the split is gone another way to undo your split is I'm creating another split so I'm going to click on my split it then sets the first bar and you will notice this darkened area in here that is where you are taking a portion out you if you don't want to use this X or say we do another split you can do numerous splits just keep clicking split this is uh, very valuable for people who make mistakes in their videos and want to take a certain portion out uh, YouTube studio beta has given us a very good tool here to be able to use and once you learn how to use it you will find it saves you time and money so now I've made two splits now if I want to undo the split I would click the undo up here on the left hand top undo it will undo of my last action that I made if I click the redo it will give me back the last action that I made so that will then allow you to be able to uh, do more when you are ready and you've got your trim and if you're splitting you will then click your preview and after you previewed your video I'm just going to click preview here you will play your video there's a, a player right there um, an arrow which is play right there and then you will click save your changes then your video will then be saved Add an end screen. You can choose from a number of different templates. You have a video, a playlist, and one subscribe. Oh, sorry, a video or playlist and one subscribe. So that's two things that are coming up on your template. Now, the most you can have for your elements is four. You can also have two videos or playlists without the subscribe button. The two videos or playlists with your subscribe in this area. Two videos or playlists, one subscribe. Okay, so I am going to choose this one here and apply it. You will 
will now notice that I have a video here, most recent upload, that will be showing. And I also have my subscribe to the DIY affiliate and I can move this around. I can also move this if I wanted to. Move that around. So it'll be your most recent upload right here and the video that YouTube thinks is best for the viewer and your subscribe. And then that is done. I'm just going to delete that now. So now I am in my subscribe and I'm going to delete that as well. If you want to add your own elements without using a template you would then click an element you have a video a playlist your subscribe and a channel if you wanted to uh, to refer people to another channel for a video You get your most recent upload, best for the viewer, or choose a specific video. If you click choose a specific video, your videos will then come up and you can choose from one of your own videos. You can also choose any video on YouTube by typing it in. Now you can only choose one video. So This is the video that I chose and you can move it around to show where you want it to go on your screen. Now this is what shows in the last 20 seconds of your video. And you do have to make sure that you are in the last 20 seconds of your video otherwise you will not be able to save it says ele ele element must be visible for at least five seconds okay so let's just delete that and go back into element you can do the same with the playlist any playlist on YouTube. Choose any specific playlist. If you want to use your own playlist, then put in the name of your playlist that is mine so I'm going to choose that and then that will come out come up right there Deleting this for now. Right back into your element. You can also have a subscribe 
if you are not using the template and also a channel. Okay, so I am just going to undo this. I'll just take this out right now. It's doing something. It's going to undo whatever I've done. Now, the next thing that you can do in uh, the YouTube Studio beta is add a blur. And why would you add a blur? You would add a blur if you are using a Creative Commons and somebody is talking, you want to use the video, but you don't want people to see their face because you are making it your video. So I'm just going to click in here. And this will then take me into the Creator Studio. So it, this is still integrated with the Creator Studio. So it hasn't completely moved over to the YouTube Studio Beta, but it's... And subscribe if you like this video. To, uh, to find out how to use the YouTube Studio Beta because it can greatly help you when you're making your videos. So here is Blur Faces. Blur Faces are people who appear in your video. And this is where you can click the Edit button. And then custom blurring. Choose areas to blur and track in your video. And then you click the edit as well. You can also do a trim. But you've already done your trim in YouTube Studio, so you don't need to use that one. Okay. And always be sure that you are able to save your work because if you cannot click this save button you cannot save your work and all the work that you've done here does not mean anything it'll just be the same as when you started I'm going to edit trim And I can also further split or I can clear the, the work that was already done. Now this was something that I did from before. So I'm just going to take these out. Now this trim is showing at, see how the numbers move here? This tells you where your trim is. So you could watch your video and then watch the time and then edit by looking at the time. And always remember that you can preview and it's always good to click your preview with any changes that you make to make sure that is what you want. This right here allows you to make your video bigger so that you can see it remember if you do make your video bigger everything at the bottom will also you may not be able to see different parts this also is a zoom and this will make this part right here larger so that you can see it. Okay, so these three dots up here, you can view your keyboard options. 
and there are shortcuts if you want to use your keyboard instead of using your mouse. Here is this little camcorder here. It shows you this is your video right here. This is your audio to your video down here. If you click on this downward arrow, you will then be able to add your audio if you have different, um, if you have if you want to add a different song to your video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this. So now what you can do is you can now choose from either the top tracks, all tracks, if you know a title or the artist, the genre, the mood, and also here is the duration. When you choose your your audio, you click Add to Video, and then Save Your Changes. Now YouTube has added something also, which is if you need music for the next time, you can browse and download copy safe, copyright safe music from the YouTube audio library. So let's just click into get started. So this is all new. And if you do want to download it, you can click here and it will download to your library. You are free to use this song in any of your videos. Okay. You can also save it. In your library on your, your PC as well. YouTube has also added sound effects. And you can also add different sounds to your video as well. Adding audio is so useful and really helps when you are creating a vast amount of content. Here is this little camcorder here. It shows you this is your video right here. This is your audio to your video down here. If you click on this downward arrow, you will then be able to add your audio if you have different, um, 
if you have a different song to your video. So now what you can do is you can now choose from either the top tracks, all tracks, if you know a title or the artist, the genre, the mood, and also here is the duration. When you choose your, your audio, to like and subscribe for more videos, tutorials that are, that are being made right now on YouTube Studio Veda and also how to grow your business, whether you're in, uh, whether you're on YouTube or Instagram or any other social media. Remember, sharing knowledge is free and we can all share our knowledge in order to build a community of like-minded people who are willing to help each other to grow. So please leave me a comment because comments are engagement. And no matter what you do online, when you leave a trail, such as a comment or a heart or anything that shows that you have been there, that counts as engagement. And for YouTube, it is part of the algorithm. And I also take the comments that I get from people who subscribe to my channel for me to be able to put their channel up on a place right on my channel which I call the featured comments so please leave me a comment and I will definitely put your channel up uh, make sure that you say that you are you are interested in growing your business online and you want to know more this is the diy affiliate wishing everybody a wonderful day